8 a.m. Back nine. Yeah. That, that'll be great. Peterson! <laughs> Apparently, I didn't make myself clear. Get your people motivated! <laughs> now hear this! Nobody leaves the building until their portion of the Sumatech prototype is completed. It is imperative. You know, I kind of miss the old days. Email, voicemail. Nah, this is far more effective and entertaining. <laughs> so, how are you coming along with grass and plots? Oh, they're all done. It's so easy to do and be that I almost feel sorry for guys using other software. Almost. Cool dude. But don't tell Peterson you finished. Let's make him sweat. Hey, are you done with your user interface? You know, the one that uses the .NET tree view control? Oh yeah, the V lady told me to show you how. <sighs> what a coincidence! It's time for a VTV power session on using .NET controls. Take it away, V lady! Live from Vizer's Palace, it's time for the one, the only, thank God, the V lady! Hey folks, it's time for the coolest part of VTV. Me. The V Lady is going to show you how to integrate .NET controls into your V apps. Just like ActiveX controls, .NET controls expand the capabilities of your user interfaces. There are hundreds of commercially available .NET controls, but there are also cool .NET controls included with V. Now you can really spruce up your programs with data grids, group boxes, combo boxes, tree views, calendars, and more. These are standard controls included with the .NET framework, which is installed automatically with V. Check out this simple V program that incorporates one of these built-in .NET controls, a progress bar. Let's go ahead and run it. Many operators prefer a visual indication of progress, which makes a control like this very useful. A .NET control, like this progress bar, appears just like any other V object. However, unlike typical V objects, .NET control objects will never have connection pins. No inputs, no outputs, no sequence pins. In other words, no wiring to .NET control objects. It ain't possible either. Well, V lady, that just don't make no sense. If I can't wire to it, how am I going to make that .NET control do things? It's easy. It's just like using your cell phone. You go wireless. This object initializes the progress bar. It's a new type of V object. The .NET, .NET operation, operation builder, builder, which performs operations on a .NET control via transactions. Remember transactions? These are one-line operations similar to those used in plug-and-play drivers or direct I.O. objects. These are three lines of code which initialize our progress bar control. Each transaction line sets a particular property of this progress bar. The minimum, maximum, and step properties determine the bounds and relative speed that the progress bar moves. More on that in a moment. Let's move on to the four count object. This will iterate and execute these two objects 100 times. The first of these is another .NET operation builder. It actually calls a method or function which steps the progress bar. The delay object just slows this loop down so we can actually see the progress bar move. Now let's get into some of the details of the .NET Operation Builder. Let's double click on one of the initialization code transactions and change the step increment from 1 to 5. Since this example assigns progress bar properties with constant values, we can simply change the value field to 5. Now, when we run the program, you'll notice the progress bar updates roughly five times faster. Okay, any questions? Uh, no, V-Lady, but I wrote something for you. Would you like to hear it? Oh, please. Does it have anything to do with .NET controls? Oh, whatever. Let's hear it. <clears throat> V-Lady, V-Lady, with delivery and articulation so rich, to some you are cordial, to others, you're a All right, that's enough poetry for today. Let's ditch this code and build a new program from scratch. Under the device menu, there are three new .NET menu selections. 
Let's check out the first one, which contains Windows Forms controls. This diverse set of controls is provided with the .NET framework and is automatically included in v7.5. Here's the progress bar control we used earlier. I'm going to select something really cool for our next example. The month calendar control. Remember when we set properties programmatically on the progress bar? Well, you can also set .NET control properties at design time as well. Just click on the control properties menu for the object. If you think this looks suspiciously like the property editor for other V objects, you're right. However, only properties specifically associated for the control are listed. Other generic properties are available in the main property editor, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, let's change the calendar's background color. So we could use one of the standard system colors, but why do that when we can select any of the hundred web colors? Or a custom color? I'll pick one of the web colors, say fire brick. Notice that the calendar changes color as soon as I make a selection. This color is a bit dark, so I'll change it to something brighter, lemon chiffon. Ooh, that's way better. We can change the font. And how about turning off the current date indicator An obnoxious red circle. There's one little thing to note. There is no undo for changing these control properties. <clears throat> Let me make an important point here. .NET controls behave very differently at design time than built-in V controls, like a slider for example. If I click on the days, months, or scroll arrows, it doesn't appear to do anything. That's because .NET controls don't operate until the V program is executing. So let's make it execute. I'll add an OK button. And now run this program. As I click on the control, things happen. This control allows me to easily change the current month by clicking on the arrows or the month name. You can also change the year. And of course you can select a day or days. Pretty cool, eh? Now I'm sure you're probably saying to yourself, Self, how do I get the date out of this control? We'll cover that and more after this short break.